Last week we celebrated Waitangi Day and Dr Don Brash was in the headlines again because he'd been invited up north to Waitangi to speak and the media was full of people going back and forth about whether he should have been invited or not. Now personally I was more interested in what the people who invited him had to say and the invitation came from Ruben Taipare, uh, one of the organisers up at Waitangi. And when he was questioned about his decision, he said, you know, we're trying to start a new type of discussion. He said, Dr. Brash has been in some high positions, including financial positions. And he said, we want to have a conversation about creating our own financial freedom, about how we stop being dependent on government. He said, if we're going to have that kind of conversation, we need to go to every corner of the community to get the information we need and take the opportunity to listen. Now, when I heard him say this, it reminded me of a concept called anti-fragility. It's an idea that's used in a recent book called The Coddling of the American Mind. And the authors talk about the fact that our public discourse, our public debates, have too often become too fragile. In other words, we're trying to protect ourselves too much from the kind of challenge and the kind of test that we actually need if the ideas that we hold, if the beliefs that drive our actions, if the kind of public debate that we're going to have is actually going to be strong enough and rigorous enough to allow us to really be challenged in a way that will help us to grow. That's why I really admired Mr. Taipati's decision to invite Dr. Brash to speak. I think it's a great example of the kind of approach and the kind of conversation that can make our nation stronger.